So, drag. Let's do it. Yeah, let's man. start this thing off. First one on the list, Seahawks wide receiver Paul Richardson. I like to call him P. Rich. Now check out this play right here. You're going to see Russell Wilson. He's going to move to the left, what he does with his feet, and then check out P. Rich get his toes down. I want to change the angle so you can see this. Watch the catch. Watch him look down know nice. exactly where he's at. He almost bends down and kisses his knees because he knows he needs to get his feet down. P. Rich on the list. One of the most difficult plays because you know that the DB is coming up right behind you. Got his feet down. A beautiful catch. We're off and running, Pete. Nate. We We're started. Off and Let's running do it. Already. Number two, Cardinals. John Brown. Okay. John Brown, now he's the speedster, right? We know John Brown is the guy that they wanted to make some plays this year. Check him out on the sideline. He gets down, drops his feet, then drops his knees on the sideline. Boom. Then you see the little black rubber pellets start to kick up. That's when you know they're already thinking about it. It's beautiful because about three feet before the ball actually hits the receiver, you see the pellet start to kick up, which means That's awareness. That's what they call part. dead legs. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So when coach says, get the dead legs, you just let your legs go limp, and they'll drag naturally because your body momentum is carrying you off the field. All right, let's go number three, TJ Jones. Telling you, man, these lines wide receivers, I left the impact there. There's a toe drag swag picture of me. Okay. No, there isn't. But these guys are making plays, though. He's wearing though. your uniform, TJ yeah. Jones. I know. He's rocking the number th 13, and he's doing it well. Now, check him out right here. Matt Stafford throwing to the sideline. When a receiver gets up, he starts pointing to the ground. This is when you know. Now, uh -huh. the toe drag swag can also be the toe tap swag. And that was him. He's doing that dot, dot, dot. It's three steps. One, two, three. As you start to get closer to the side, dot, 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 and you see the black dust kick up, he peeks down ever so slightly. T.J. Jones, number number three on this list. Let's go number four. Second wide receiver on this list, and one of our favorite on the list when it comes to toe drag swag. We got Doug Baldwin. Okay. Oh, okay. Now listen, Love Russell Doug. Wilson, he drops back. He's going to have Doug Baldwin coming across the screen. You see him point to him, and look at Doug. All yeah. the way across the field. He's going to shove that left foot in the ground, and then he's going to pop that right toe. Now watch him. Pay attention. Left, boom. We got the ref in the way on that one. Way. But you'll see it right here. Left foot, and he pops that right toe. Boom. And then you see this is real grass out there in Green Bay, right? So it pops up, kicking that dust up right there. My man Doug Baldwin, you'll see him quite a bit on this list. And number five, we got a late addition we got. from last night, right? This is all week long, every single day. Stephon Diggs. I'm watching the game. I text all the producers. I say, listen, we got to get Diggs in. Check out the sideline catch by Stephon Diggs. We've seen him get in the end zone, but did you guys see this in the highlights? Probably not. Watch him track the ball. Stop his feet. and oh, then that's get a his... great catch. Oh, my goodness. So he sees the DB. He stops. He actually had him beat. He knows that the ball is behind him. Get in. Oh, yeah. my goodness. <laughs> Diggs was playing out of his mind. Chills. Check him out. With the P.I. Left. Chills, you're right. Goosebumps right now. I'm getting them. Because he tracked the ball. He let the DB go by as he's getting held. Jumps up. And he kind of got that from Randy Moss. So it's only mm. fitting. You remember Randy Moss would always oh, yeah. stop his feet and then float backwards? Beautiful. And then he gets feet down. This is my favorite one of the weekend, though. Cole Beasley. Oh, oh this yeah, catch, here we go. And then his awareness to get his feet down. Check out this catch right here. Now, it's a wobbly ball. It gets tipped. Ah. He just casually catches it on the back of his neck. You see that little mullet hanging out in the back? He catches it right there. I don't know if he got to stick him back there. Check him out. He catches it, and then he gets his feet down. Watch this view right here. Look at that He grabs it. Look at him. Check out his feet. Are you kidding me? The ball's tipped up in the air. It grabs back his jersey, and then he has the awareness to look down to know exactly where he's at, and he gets an extra two steps in. And he does it in front of the Giants bench, and they're all screaming at the ref that he didn't catch it, and he caught it, Nate. That is absolutely fantastic. Watch the catch. Look Twitter at his eyes. Shut up. Oh, my goodness. That's it, Cole. That is beautiful. Shout out to Cole Beasley.